All right, I thought what I would do is just kind of recap, kind of do, start doing some daily shorts or something like that, and then like a weekly recap. And then so my daily stuff will just kind of hit what I did during the day, you know, real short and sweet and to the point. And then my weekly recap kind of go into depth, a little more rambling, you know, as, as far as just explaining what I've been doing. So just my recap today, uh, I made a filler plate for this hole and I kind of, I tacked it all in. I got this plate for the firewall fitted and I started tacking it in. Um, man, that was, that was a lot of fitting. I had to do some, you can see some marks here from where I was shrinking and stretching on this edge. but. Here's the firewall, and then there's that piece. So it's all, it's just going to be really, really smooth. It fits in really nice. So by the time I get it welded in and uh, ground down, it's going to fit pretty good. I got a little bit of a warp right here, but uh, yeah, it'll be all right. And it's pretty strong. It, uh, It's pretty sturdy, so I like it. I like the way it looks. I think uh, I think that'll actually do. So new firewall that's kind of cleaned up looking. I did flatten out this hole where the steering shaft comes through too. I uh, flattened that flange from being like this guy here. Flattened it out because I think I'm going to weld a plate in there like I did over here and then I can make that all new to fit the new steering shaft from the Isuzu pickup truck or whatever else I'm going to, you know, whatever I'm going to do in that, that regard with the steering. And I think that really cleans up the way the firewall looks. You know, this, this whole section kind of comes out. And so the shape I put into that panel takes this piece that's further out and just molds it all right into one smooth shape into the rest of the firewall. So I'll probably have to do some body work on it to smooth it out and make it look really, really pretty on the whole firewall. But... I think that'll do. Oh, once again, I'm tired because uh, it was a lot of thought process as far as what I was going to do with bead roller wheels and all that stuff. So I even used some of my radius dies. I think those are one inch radius dies. They are my. Yep, my one inch radius dies from Eastwood for my my Eastwood dies for my Eastwood uh, bead roller. This this bead roller I got their their big one, the Eastwood Elite, the really uh, deep throat one, so you could do like a whole pickup bed panel or whatever. I got the motor because I knew I'd be working alone and so I can switch it forward, reverse, change control. And then I got the foot controller down there on the floor that I can use. So I can operate it by myself without having anybody with me. And then of course this stand, it was all a bunch of scrap metal that I've gotten from work in the past and stuff. And so I just, I made a stand. I want to weld some more of these uh, rods on there so I can just put all my dies on the stand and uh, so everything's all in one place but that's my bead roller and here's all the other forming dies you know so I'm uh, learning and doing good so like subscribe share comment and I'll get back with you have a good one